suppliers as, as well as our clients. And, uh, and, and, and a lot of people, people in this room are very influential on, on our business, past and present. Uh, we've got a lot of gratitude for, for you, know, you being here and, and the involvement you've had with our business so far. It started 13 years ago as Custodial Systems um, uh, with two key things. Uh, it was £4,000 poultry seed capital that I put into the business. Um, and the other key thing being my wife who allowed me to spend £4,000 to start this business. Uh, two weeks pregnant and with a mortgage we probably couldn't afford and me having just quit my job, so thank you for that. Um, the background really for me is, is that I started the business after running a technology team in Goldman Sachs and um, uh, ran a few little bits and pieces there and, and loved my time and, and around the time of 9-11 of and some other things that happened around the time I think the whole um, banking industry was, was shocked and it was changed in terms of the, how the environment felt and, and we wanted to start a family so uh, we, we moved out to London and I, I quit my job. Um, and, and actually one of the last things I did for Goldman Sachs was, was work on something called BCP or Business Continuity Planning. Because when something happened of the scale that we'd never seen before, when people were displaced for days upon end of, a, of an enormous attack, um, we wanted to know where our most important assets were. And they are and, and still remain our people. Um, now that technology that we developed to find people by their mobile phones is actually the, the first part of what we did to create what was back then called the Apollo tracking system. So we found out where it was and we used this technology from Sweden, they used in hunting to find dogs and, and other things to locate where things were and, and between those two technologies we had a, uh, a tracking system. And, and really that business has built up really slowly and organically over the last 13 years until I met my business partner Bob uh, and uh, he came in in 2013 and, um, and basically it spurred us on a little bit. Initially because I lost half my dividends, and uh, <laughs> more latterly because uh, we started to realise that actually there was a lot more potential to this business than we'd, uh, we tapped in. And a lot of people say now, who's Cantrack? Because I hear this quite a bit in terms of when we go out to market and to uh, clients and, and suppliers, and actually we're not new. What we're seeing today is a result of four years of, of continual investment in this business from three of us, uh, really a few of us working here, and, and Tina, uh, originally joining me in that office in Shenley, it was just a few of us and John, our first ever investigator in the, uh, the, 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 the team that we now have of ex-police officers. Um, and I say really we're the oldest startup around. Um, I've been saying that for a while now, but it still feels like we're on a startup. We're a tech company, we're, we're, we're growing fast, but, but we, we've been around for a while, we've learned from our mistakes and we've made quite a few, but uh, it's time to move forward. Um, so that, this year has been particularly exciting, which is why I think we're taking this opportunity to, to, to get everyone here today. Um, we're dealing with some really ex exciting clients, you know, people with business opportunities that have, have got the ability to be transformative for our business and, and really make a huge difference into who we are and where we're going. We're having conversations we've never been able to have before. We've grown turnover in the last year by 50%. Um, we expect this year will be anywhere from 30 to 100%, depending on whether you're looking at my maths or Bob's. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Bob's always 100%. Um, part of the reason that spurred me on here. Uh, we've created 13 jobs in, in this business in the last year, and, and that's just a start. So we're having a real actual effect on the local community, and it's, it's something that I'm, I'm extremely proud of. We've started working on putting investment into export. Tony O'Neill's come and started with our international markets business this year. We're, we're putting our money where our mouth is. Tony's been over in, in Las Vegas and in Conexpo and to Spain in an agreement. and. We're actively looking for partners around the world to take what we do here uh, abroad, which is really exciting. Flying the flag for the British government. So we've, we've just been announced as one of several businesses to be awarded a place. I'm not allowed, to, don't know exactly the words I'm allowed to use, but within the ESPO framework, we have been selected as one of a number of companies to compete at, at local business, uh, at local government level uh, on, a, on a, a very large framework agreement which is hugely exciting for us to be able to participate. There were 29 telematic companies went into the mix there and only a few came out and we were one of them and we're one of the top ranking companies in there which is something to be so proud of. There's some very big names in our list I can assure you, ones that, that probably would have wondered who we are and what we were doing at the beginning. So we've shown time to time that again that where we aim we can hit and we can keep doing that. And last and but not least what we're we're here for today. So that's our ISO 9001. 
2015 accreditation. It was a huge project. Um, it's, I, I calculated some, some stats on it the other day. I reckon there's about 200,000 words uh, within that framework. And it, and it was about this growth that we're having that's, that feels explosive at times. And we had to try and control that and make sure that we, we maintain quality, that we made sure that we, we kept the customer experience correct. And, and, and it, even as a small business, it shows that we can compete at the top level. Uh, and I think that's something to be proud of. So I want to thank you for the challenges that we've, um, that we've overcome together and the ones that we're yet to face. So we're honoured to be joined here today by uh, Ian Stewart, the candidate for MK South, following the recent uh, uh, dissolving of Parliament. And he's first elected in 2010 and again in 2015. He actually hails from Hamilton, where our own Ian Connolly, uh, who's unable to make it here today, also comes from. Uh, and in 2015, he was appointed to be the PPS for the Right Honourable, I'll see if I can remember this, the Right Honourable Dr. Liam Fox, Secretary for International Trade and President of the Board of Trade. Which obviously is quite interesting with us moving into export. So he very kindly agreed as an attendee to our little gathering to present certificate on behalf of NQA, who's our accreditation board. And I'm going to ask that Ian actually presents his certificate in, in recognition of the fact that we didn't just pass, and I'm quoting here, we passed in flying colours. And whilst there was a significant involvement from, uh, from, from Brian, uh, from Richard, Kevin, uh, there was one person that, that um, put a huge amount of effort and can take a lot of the credit for the achievement, which is why I want to ask Tina to receive it on our behalf. You know, so. yeah. I know it seems contrary, but <laughs> <coughs> other people as background. So before I hand this over, can I just say that uh, it's a great pleasure to be asked here to jo uh, join you today. Um, what you're doing here, at both a local and national level, uh, is incredible. Uh, your startup journey, uh, your growth here, is absolutely what Mills and Keynes is about. And um, leaving party politics aside. Uh, of whatever political stripe you are, to be able to represent Mills and Keynes uh, is one of the most exciting jobs in politics because this place is so dynamic, so fast growing. Uh, we've got a great future, but it's down to people like you that makes it happen. Uh, if you look at all the league tables, we top the number of business startups, of new job creation, all these indices, Mills and Keynes is in the top division. Uh, so it, it's really encouraging to, to be able to see your journey. Uh, here today and internationally, uh, you know, the, uh, my, Rob, my job in uh, government, my full title is Parliamentary Private Secretary to the Right Honourable Dr. Liam Fox, Secretary of State for International Trade and President of the Board of Trade. I've got a world of business. That's not a title, it's a job. Um, PPS to Liam is, is a shorthand version of it. Uh, but you know the, the, that department was created uh, to really boost what this country does in terms of its uh, overseas trade and investment. For too long, we've lagged behind our competitors. And whether it's a new company starting to export or an existing exporter looking to scale up, uh, the department's work is absolutely focused on giving every help we can uh, to, to help businesses grow that and, and help our economy, which generates the the resources to spend on all the things we're arguing about in, in politics at the moment. So on every level, uh, it's really encouraging to, to see what you're doing here. Uh, and I applaud what you've achieved thus far um, and wish you every success uh, in the months and years ahead.